Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we defeated the Komodo Girls because I completely forgot that we had to do that before facing the Elite Four. So we beat them, we got the clear bell, we have the Rainbow Wing, which means we can go up the bell tower and go get Ho-Oh. So, we're going to go and do that. It's a lot simpler, in my opinion, uh, than trying to get Lugia and the World Islands, because the World Islands is mad confusing. You gotta go through like every single tunnel. Here you just go up, 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 and up. So. Shouldn't be an issue. And I'm not sure if I have to spray repel, so I won't do it yet. Oh, but there's trainers! Oh, never mind. Yes, I have the Rainbow Wing. Yes, I will come through. I would have came through regardless. Alright. Uh, yeah, I do got a spray repel. Level 20 Marmatatus. That's why I bought some. I did do that off screen. So. There's like a few confusing things. Not confusing, but. A few things you can do to get items like this, so... <laughs> got a full heal. So, I mean, I could just, if I wanted to, I could just go through the entire thing without having to get any items. It would be relatively quick. But there's no fun in that. I want the items. Wait. I have to go through... He Where is it? Okay. I thought it was, like, all the way at the top. Alright. Alright. Time to... Hmm. If this is the first time you guys have been playing or played um uh Hard Golden Soul Silver, this is all trial and error. And it's been a while since I played this, so this is probably gonna be a trial and error thing for me. But I'm pretty sure if I go up that ladder there'll be it'll be the next floor, but there has to be item more items around here somewhere. Yep. And I bet you that this is not the way to go up. Maybe it is. Nope. See, I told you. Oh, no. Alright, so... Back at the start. And... We got the items. I, thought, I was hoping there would be an item like... Um, you know, up that ladder over there where it leads you to a dead end, but I guess not. Oh, wow. So, both of these lead to nowhere. So, that means... And my repel wore off. That means this one is the one we gotta go up. Alright. Uh, items. Items. Here we go. Got a rare candy. Nice. What sucks? Oh, no! Dang it. What sucks is that in this game... Well, not even in this game. In earlier games, before Gen 6... Um... You didn't get experience for every encounter. Like in X and Y and Alpha, Sapphire, and Ruby, and blah, blah, blah. You get experience even if you catch Pokemon. So, that was pretty cool. Um... Oh, no, I did it again. So, like I was saying, you get experience for just catching a Pokemon. So, uh, if I caught this Lugia, I think I would get, like, half the experience than I normally would have if I would have killed it. I think it's something like that. But, yeah, but, I mean, they didn't 
I can't be mad that this game doesn't do that because they just introduced that last year when X and Y came out. So, and also the exp uh, the XP share that just gives everybody the experience, which makes the game a ton easier. Like it's not even a, it's almost a joke, but hey, I guess they're trying to make it easier for newcomers. Alright, so I'm just gonna say screw the items and try to get through here. And I'm sure. Oh, well, I got this item by accident, and I'm in the next floor, I think. I'm definitely in the next floor. Alright, um. Dang it. Alright. Well, I, I did it again. I gotta go down the next one. This one. And maybe this will take me to the next floor. Nope. Just the nugget. See, alright, so I say, alright, let me just try and get through the thing, and I'm actually getting all the items by accident. That's pathetic. Alright, so these don't do anything. Repel wore off. Now, back here. More items! Max revive, that helps actually. Alright, next floor. Where does this take me? More items. HP up. This takes me here. And... Oh, another item! Full restore. Alright. Now we get to go up. Is this the last one? believe so yeah all right I gotta save here and gotta make sure I have Amphros up front because I gotta paralyze this thing from the start and go up to the kimono girls and they're going to start this whole ritual with the bell and the leaf and I mean I mean the rainbow wing yeah um, yeah, they do the same thing in, uh, in Soul Silver. It's just in the cave by the water. And I don't want to fast forward this because it's kind of cool. So now these bells are like blinking, calling out Ho-Oh. Where you been all these years, oh, oh Oh, and here comes ho oh Nice. Look at that thing. Actually, I might use this Ho-Oh in the Elite Four versus using my useless Dragonair because that's what my Dragonair is right now. It's useless at this point. But... Actually, I could use this instead of... as my Fire-type instead of Growlithe for the Elite Four. That would work because what would I use Growlithe for? At the moment, nothing, because it has a flamethrower, but it's a Growlithe. It wouldn't be able to fight, like, the Ariadoses and the whatevers. Maybe it would be able to. I should try, at least, I guess, with the Growlithe. I don't know. But, nevertheless, we're going to try and catch this thing. Let's save it here. Alright. Let's try and catch this thing.
This is whole level 45. Alright, so not so bad. I figured it would be level 50, but... Maybe that's just in other games. Ah, oh, the pressure. That means it'll take out... The PP will go down by 2, right? Sunny day, I'm screwed. What that means is that... If it uses Sacred Fire, I'm done for. So that's going to be up there from 3 to 5 turns. This thing should live this discharge. And if it... Oh, wow. Sacred Fire, I'm done. Goodbye, Emphros. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Jesus. What can live? Maybe Dragonair. Dragonair is resistant, but it's only level 32. Uh, let's use extreme speed. See how much that takes out. Up, oh, nothing. Extra sensory. Jesus. Dragon pulse. All right, so I'm afraid I'm afraid to use Golem because Golem actually is f four times effective against um against this thing. So All right. Um waterfall I think would kill let me go into Gengar. And, um. Let me just. How many max revives do I have? One. That's nice. Oh, I should have brought some more revives. That's what I would need. Extra sensory. I forgot you have. Ex you have that. All right. So Growlithe. All right. Um. Hyper potion for Ampharos. and you can't move. Awesome. Um. I'm gonna use bite. It's really the only thing I could do. I didn't do anything. I wonder if he got paralyzed again. Oh, it got to red, and you flinched. Keep flinching. Fire Blast, and I got Flash Fire, son. Alright, so... This is where, this is where, this is it. This is the perfect... This is the perfect amount of health. Paralyzed. Ultra Balls. I wouldn't be surprised if I caught it with the first Ultra Ball. Oh, well. Sacred Fire, but I got Flash Fire. Just don't use Extra Sensory and we're good. Oh, come on, I'm so close. Oh my god, are you serious? Look at the health. How can you just be breaking out like that? No way you're breaking out like that. Oh my. Oh, jeez. I should have bought more Ultra Balls. I'm not even getting a wiggle. I have. Tw I still have 22, so. I got a shot still. I mean, but I'm not just. I'm not even getting a wiggle. Unbelievable. And I don't know why Ho-Oh just doesn't use extra sensory to take out my Growlithe. <clears throat> this is so weird, dude. I'm it's paralyzed and everything. Maybe it has 2 HP and I can bring it to 1 HP, but it's impossible to have it any less than where it, it's at. And I still can't catch it. Alright, well, Growlithe is dead. 
I'm gonna go into for alligator because for alligator can can live fire moves so 15 ultra balls left I've used 11 and I still can't catch so I'm running out of pokeballs fast oh ah so I'm thinking about just using the master ball and I don't get it because I've caught these things with ultra balls before with the amount of HP maybe if it was sleeping maybe I should have put it to sleep first maybe I'll do that I could try again yeah I think I'm gonna try again and put it to sleep this time I only have five pokeballs left I mean I've never used more than like I got two wiggles that I've never used like more than two pokeballs I mean not two more than like 25 pokeballs to catch a legendary you know so I'm like wondering why I have it at the perfect health and paralyzed that and then it's not even it's not even wiggling not even wiggling well last ultra ball all that money yeah I think I'm gonna try try again all right so I'm just gonna restart and maybe if I can go to Elite Four hey guys I'm back so turns out that I can't do the Elite Four um, turns out I have to get this Ho-Oh and I'm not sure if I plan to catch any other of the legendaries uh, especially not Mewtwo, because if you have to, to get to Mewtwo, you have to, like, do everything in the game. Um, so I think I might just catch this thing with a Master Ball. And if anything, I can just... I could just put another Master Ball in the game. Because I'm doing this on an emulator, but I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I would have to catch Mewtwo with, a, with an Ultra Ball, which would suck, because Mewtwo is difficult to catch. But... I'm thinking maybe I try again. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try again. Man, that fire blasted a lot. Except I'm gonna put it to sleep this time. So I'm gonna use hypnosis. I'm faster than it, which is good. Use a couple of shadow balls and oh the. Defense drop, the special defense drop. Oh no! What are you doing to me, Gengar? Alright, back again. Third try, I killed it last time, so. Sunny day. Uh oh. Oh, and I paralyzed it. Really, Ampharos, with the discharge. Hey, look, I'm, I have it at the same exact HP. The same exact HP. Paralyzed. Well, might as well try again. Because that's where I have it, and it's not wiggling. It just doesn't want to wiggle. There's the Sacred Fire. Well, Growlithe was my best staller last time, so let's use him. Actually, hold on. I'm going to try and catch it a few more times. And if not, I'm going to see if a bite takes it down any more. Alright, let's see if a bite does. Ah! Oh. Alright, so I can't do that. Fourth try. I was thinking about putting Gengar in front, but I kind of wanted, um, uh, I kind of want to get the damage on it first, extra sensory, and I got the paralysis again. Oh, you know what? A bite would do it this time. A bite from Growlithe may take it down to a lower HP than what it was before. 
but I'm gonna try and chuck balls at it now while wow, Amphrost is still alive. And if I can't catch it like this, then I'm just gonna give up and use a Master Ball. Alright, so I'm gonna put in Growlithe. I am so sure one bite, a bite would not kill it. And it didn't, and it actually seems like it has more HP than the first time. That's what it looks like to me anyway. If it's not more, then it's exactly the same. Oh. 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 Yes! Oh, dude, yeah, I got it. Oh, man, I got it with the Ultra Ball. Jeez, I only had, like, five left. I just wanted to skip all through the little mini stuff. Oh, man. Oh, I'm saving this immediately. Oh man, dude. So close. Let's see. I had to use a ton of I had to use a ton of hyper potions because Growlithe was just eating those extra sensories. And I have like Look, I see I have 3 ultra balls left. Oh man, dude. That is crazy. Alright, so I'm going to go all the way back down. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm actually... I don't know, I... Like I said before, I was thinking about using Ho-Oh in the Elite Four, but... I know I'm going to play the Kanto part later. Maybe at some point in 2015. Um, it's just not... Oh god. It's just not going to happen now because... Um, because I have so much other stuff going on on my channel. I want to do some Maple Story. I want to do some, you know, some more Smash Brothers. And I just know that... Am I going the right way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just know that it's going to be difficult. Plus, I'm doing other stuff, working, trying to get back into school. And I know that... This game is not going to fit too well in my schedule. So, Kanto might be until the spring. Kanto might have to wait. Um, but, I got it, so I don't even care. Not anymore, anyway. Um, let's check it out. I got to move some pokes anyway. So I can fly back to Cherry Grove. And we got... Ho-Oh, Extra Sense Free. Sunny Day, Fire Blast, Sacred Fire with Pressure. Um, damn, just look at those stats. How come it doesn't have a physical type fire move? Jesus. But, um... Yeah, bashful is bashful a neutral nature? I guess so. So yeah, bashful is definitely a neutral nature. All right, so I'm actually gonna end this episode here. 
I'm going to be on my way to the Elite Four in the next episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.